This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN and Shopify people. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, just in time for Christmas, it is time to celebrate some Christ unmasked. This <laughs> is Monty Python's Life of Brian, and we haven't seen it nope. ever. No, none of them. Not, not a one. This is the first of the Monty Pythons. Yeah, we're me. doing it. <laughs> uh, that said, we've never seen any Monty Python. So uh, Monty Python could be a journey we go on together if this goes well. So please do like. Please do comment. Let us know below what your favorite Monty Python movie is. Let us know what your favorite, I don't know, psalm. What section of the Bible is your favorite or chapter? I call them clips. Or clip from the Bible. Do you enjoy? Uh, yeah. Literally, I have no idea what this movie is about. Very excited to dive into it. Want to thank our friends at Prepper for assembling this video and making it possible. Want to thank our folks over at the Patreon for being the sexiest rejects in the game. Even yeah, sexier baby. than Jesus in his little diaper. They're that Ooh. sexy. Uh, you wanted to catch If you'd like to become a patron, you can watch this beginning to end, front to back, the whole journey, including our resting watching faces. Yeah, they're good. We're just pensive. Mm -hmm. We're good at it. Without yeah. further ado, I'm wait, about but to find also, out. Oh? Wait, I didn't get to do my and everybody loves it. Ring the bell! Ring the bell. Had to add it in. I know you guys would have left comments being real angry if you hadn't heard and it. And now the SEO is positive. Continue. Because now they're acknowledging the bell. See? Which is nice. And I just want your likes because I need them for validation. But without <laughs> further ado, we're going to find out what this Brian guy's up to in three, two, one. <laughs> what a perfectly timed movie. Sounds all Christmassy. Oh, yes. <laughs> You think that's supposed to be Jesus? I think he's flying through the air like Santa, <laughs> right? Is that what Santa's based off of? <laughs> we can't see the stars in Los Angeles. Nope, that's way more than I'm used to right there. Silver Surfer confirmed. Or is it just the North Star? The three wise men will tell us that's why they're wise. Yeah. It's Monty. The Monty the dog. See? Patrons know. Those are some regal sheep. Is that a sheep? Are they riding I can't sheep? tell. No, that's a camel, right? But it's like got weird foo-foo. Uh, yeah, it's like a sheep camel. It's like a shamble. Oh, look at the cute donkey. Dominic, the Christmas donkey, right? Yeah. Is that part of the... It's part of the thing. Yeah. Ears Nestor. Three wise men. What? <laughs> well, what are you doing creeping around the car shed at two o'clock in the morning? That doesn't sound very wise to me. We wish to praise the infant. You're all drunk. It's disgusting. Out, God. We were led by a star. <laughs> when well, we were seeing him, we have brought presents. Out. Gold, frankincense, myrrh. Well, why didn't you say he's over there? Uh -huh. So you're astrologers, are you? Well, what is he then? Hmm? What star sign is he? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Astrologers. Uh, Capricorn. He is the son of God, our Messiah, King of the Jews. Well, that's Capricorn, is it? <laughs> By what name are you calling him? Uh, Brian! We worship you, O Brian, who are Lord over us all. <laughs> <laughs> Praise unto you, Brian, and to the Lord our Father. If you drop him by again, do pop in. <laughs> And thanks a lot for the gold and frankincense. Uh, but don't worry too much about the myrrh next time, all right? <laughs> I hope his voice is like that all the time. And they, yeah, it's not a bit. It's just Even a lifestyle. Even in real life. He's like, oh, I'll be an actor. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> here, 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 that's, that's mine. Hey, oh. oh, is there a major next door? <laughs> <laughs> So a baby born the exact same time. That's the, let's see, he's neighborly Brian. <laughs> Poor Brian. Born moments too soon or Dang. too late. Brian. Ah. Oh my God, this reminds me of like, remember in elementary school when they used to teach you on like, what is that thing called? The educational thing about like uh, spelling and rhyming and the title sequence was just oh. like this, you guys. Like, 
they rhyme songs and they'd be like, we'll teach you about syllables. Oh, God, I it's, know what you're talking about. It's and it's just me. escaping me. And yeah. the, the chat right now is like, obviously, the the yeah. legislation, like there's yes. a, I'm a bill. Yes. Something rock. Schoolhouse yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. This is beautiful. <laughs> this song is epic. A huge opening credits, but moving quick and yeah. lively. Assistant art directors were usually bored by this point, but not today. Not this is today. excellent. There's a lot happening. This is like pretty good for the 70s, right? 1979. This is very like, pretty. This is like it's a whole thing. I don't thing. know how you do this, actually. Yeah. I love Terry Gilliam's weirdness. I forgot he was part of the Monty Python crew somehow. So everybody's... Ju Jesus is 33, right? That's what AD, BC, AD. How blessed are the sorrowful. They shall find consolation. How blessed are those who hunger. They shall see God. Speak up! <laughs> 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 oh, come on, Brian! Will you be quiet? Don't pick your nose. Pick him on nose or scratch it. You was picking it while he was talking to that lady. <laughs> I was only asking her to shut up so he can hear what he's saying, Big Nose. Don't you call my husband Big Nose. Could you be quiet, please? What was that? I think it was blessed are the cheesemakers. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a bit about blessed are the Big Noses. Oh, lay off him. Where are you two from? No city? One more time, mate. I'll take you to f***ing cleaner. Language! I really will slug you, sir. Oh, it's the meek. Blessed are the meek. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I'm glad <laughs> they're getting something because they have a hell of a time. <laughs> <laughs> your nose is going to be three foot wide across your face by the time I finish with you. Who it yours then? Glass, big brother. Oh, right. That's your last warning. Oh, do pipe down. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, let's go to the stoning. <laughs> How is he in love? Immediately. Oh, yeah, well, what Jesus blatantly fails to appreciate is it's the meek who are the problem. Yes, yes, absolutely right. Yes, I see. Brian. <laughs> Follow her, Brian. Oh, I hate wearing these beards. Why aren't women allowed to go to stoning, Mum? <laughs> it's written, that's why. Beard, madam. Oh, Luke, I haven't got time to go to no stonings. He's not well again. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, all right. Two points, uh, two flats, and a packet of gravel. Packet of gravel. Gravel. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Matthias, son of Deuteronomy of Gath. Do I say yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do I say yes? Guilty by the elders of the town of uttering the name of our Lord. He's a really nice curl in his beard. It's impressive. A bunch mm. of them. And all I said to my wife was, that piece of halibut was good enough for Jehovah. <laughs> really? Are there any women here today? <laughs> by virtue of the authority, vested in me. Oh, Leo, we haven't started yet. Who threw that stone? Come on. <laughs> I don't think it ought to be blasphemy. Just saying Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I say Jehovah once more. Right. Who threw that? Is he like super tall or are they all tiny? He looks very tall. Was it you? Yes. Right. Well, you did say Jehovah. <laughs> No one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. <laughs> Good job! Is there a talent for an old ex-leper? Basil! Is there a talent for an old ex-leper? A talent? I pulled the ear into the mouth! Off talent then. Now go away! Come on, big nose, let's haggle. All right, so my final offer, I'll check off on our next slipper. Sixteen years behind the bell, I'm proud of you, sir. Well, what happened? Oh, cured, sir. Just a bloody miracle, sir. God bless you. 
Who cured you? Jesus did, sir. I was hopping along, minding my own business. All of a sudden, up he comes, cures me. One minute I'm a leper with a trade, next minute my livelihood's gone. Not so much as a buy your leave. Why don't you go and tell him that you want to be a leper again? What I was thinking was, going to ask him if you'd make me a bit lame in one leg during the middle of the week. You know, something beggable, but not leprosy, which is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Arthur Dinari, it's my bloody life story. There's no pleasing some people. That's just what Jesus said, sir. <laughs> That's me at every party I go to. I just like hop around. Wearing a fun little diaper thing. Yeah. Just bouncing. People are like, well, I've never seen that hot before. And I'm like, don't I know it. What's he doing here? It wasn't for him. We wouldn't have all this. And now you are asking me about your... Uh, my nose? Your father isn't Mr. Cohen. I never thought he was. No, not of your cheek. <laughs> he was a Roman, Brian. He was a centurion in the Roman army. Cool. You mean you were... At first, yes. Who was it? Uh, Nordius Maximus, his name. <laughs> oh, boy. Nordius Maximus. <laughs> Why don't they play long horns like that anymore? I'd they like really to should. know. Bring them back. I've been to the Coliseum. Less limbs now, but very pretty. It is the birthright of every man or woman. Why are you always on about women, Stan? I want to be one. I want you all to call me Loretta. I want to have babies. It's every man's right to have babies if he wants them. <laughs> You can't have babies! Don't you oppress me. <laughs> you haven't got a womb! Where's the fetus gonna just take? You're gonna keep it in a box? <laughs> that he can have the right to have babies. We shall fight the oppressors for your right to have babies, brother. Sister. What's the point of fighting for his right to have babies when he can't have babies? It is symbolic of our struggle against oppression. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that Roman rubbish. Why don't you sell proper food? Oh, don't blame me. I didn't ask to sell this stuff. Are you the Judean people's front? The cough. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, the people's front of Judea. Can I join your group? No, I didn't want to sell this stuff. It's only a job. I hate the Romans as much as anybody. Oh, yeah, how much? A lot. Right, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't more than the Romans, the f***ing Judean people's front. Yeah. 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 Split yeah. And the Judean popular people's front. Oh. Yeah. Split and the people's front of Judea. Yeah. Splitters! Well, the people's front of Judea, splitters. We're the people's front of Judea. Loretta. Whatever happened to the popular front? <sighs> He's over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm about to have a call. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's your name? Brian Cohen. We may have a little job for you, Brian. I wonder how many, like, there were different groups and members of different, like, you know, anti-establishment. Like, I'm sure that was based on something. It, right. Like, those jokes. Like, I'm sure there's humor. We're just not understanding. We're not, because we weren't born yet, <laughs> you guys. Yet. Not yet. A little early. A little early. Ooh. Red rum. Oh. Roman. I can read. He's not writing well right now. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. The Romans are coming. Early graffiti was even more dangerous. People call Romanes, they go the house. It, it says Romans go home. What's Latin for Roman? Come on, come on. <laughs> Romanus? Goes like Annus? Forgetty plural of Annus is. <laughs> Annie? Romani. Huh. What is aunt? Go. Conjugate the verb to go. <laughs> <laughs> Third person plural, a present indicative. Uh, there you go. But Romans go home is an order, so you must use the... Yeah, imperative. Which is... How many Romans? Plural, plural, ite. 
Latin lesson. This is very funny. That's clever. Now, right out under time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar. If it's not done by sunrise, I'll cut your balls off. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hail Caesar and everything, sir. And everything. <laughs> I never had to write a hundred times of anything because I was in trouble. That was not an 80s or 90s thing. I don't think that happened to me. No. <laughs> run, Brian, run. Get out of there, Brian. I like this music. It's going to be Judith. Oh. oh, hey, girl, hey. Pilot's wife's bedroom is here. We inform Pilot that she's in our custody and forthwith issue our demands. They take everything we had. And not just from us, from our fathers and from our father's fathers. And from our father's father's fathers. Yeah. And from our father's 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 fathers. <laughs> and what have they ever given us in return? The aqueduct? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's true, yeah. And the sanitation. And the roads. But apart from the sanitation, the aqueduct, and the roads. Irrigation. Medicine. <laughs> education. <laughs> this is that, like, how often you think of the Roman Empire thing as a skit. <laughs> yeah. Monty Python thought of the Roman Empire. Apart from the sanitation, the medicine, education, wine, public order, irrigation, roads, a fresh water system, and public health, what have the Romans ever done for us? Peace. <laughs> That's a fun little bit of business with the, the legend of Romans. Poor man, my sight is poor, my legs are old and bent. <laughs> all right, Matthias. It's all clear. <laughs> <laughs> Did he finish the slogan? A hundred times. In letters ten foot high. Before you join us, know this. There is not one of us here who would not gladly suffer death to rid this country of the Romans once and for all. Uh, well, one. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, you shall be called Brian, that is called Brian. <laughs> There's a lot of Mel Brooks. Like, he clearly influenced Mel Brooks. Yeah. With this style of humor. Like, I, I grew up in Mel Brooks, and this is a lot of that flavor. Of the same vibe. Make our way to the northwestern main drain. We are sewage workers on our way to a conference. Ridge, our glorious leader and founder of the PFJ, will be coordinating consultant at the drain head. Though he himself will not be taking part in any terrorist action, as he has a bad back. <laughs> we enter the Caesar Augustus Memorial Sewer, and from there proceed directly to the hypercoast. This has just been retiled, so terrorists, careful with those weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a comedy, obviously, but I wonder about, like how they built all these sets. I know. Like, I was just thinking about like that looked really cool and the artwork on the ground. And they must have had to actually build that because they don't have the yeah. technology to make that later. Like that was a built set, right? And, like, this underground stuff is really cool. Yeah. I wonder if they filmed in the actual, like, aqueducts. <laughs> Campaign for free Galilee. People front of you, dear. What's your group doing here? We're going to kidnap Pilate's wife, take her back, issue the man. So are we. What? That's our plan. <laughs> We've been planning this for months. What tough titty for you, fish face? Oh, 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 Surely we should be united against the common enemy. The Judean No, no, the Romans. Ah, <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Get out of there, Brian. Maybe he'll get to meet his dad. Oh. You lucky. Who's that? You lucky, lucky bastard. Hmm. I've been here five years. They haven't yelled me the right way up yesterday. What will they do to me? Oh, you'll probably get away with crucifixion. <laughs> crucifixion? Yeah. First offense. <laughs> First offense. Best thing the Romans ever did for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. If we didn't have crucifixion, this country would be in a right bloody mess. <laughs> I want you to move me to another cell. <laughs> oh, look at that. Bloody favoritism. <laughs> they hung me up here five years ago. Every night they'd take me down for 20 minutes, then they hang me up again. Which I regard as very fair. And if nothing else, it's taught me to respect the Romans. <laughs> the Roman apologist prisoner. <laughs> to see you. I think he wants to know which one you want to be crucified. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Centurion. I like it. Like it. <laughs> These are lower middle class people that love billionaires right here. This is, yeah. you guys exist. This is, <laughs> you guys, you're out there. This is what you like, like to people. This is, this is you. <laughs> These are them. These are Elon Musk sympathizers. This is, this is you. <laughs> God, that slap is my favorite part. <laughs> Jewish rapscallion. I'm not Jewish, I'm a Roman. A woman? No, no, Roman. <laughs> it is good. It's like this. <laughs> <laughs> he was a centurion in the Jerusalem garrisons. What was his name? Nautius Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anyone of that name in the garrison? Well, no, sir. Well, you sound very sure. Have you checked? Well, no, sir. Um, I think it's a joke, sir. Like, uh, silly Osonis or Biggest Dick, sir. Ah, <laughs> Biggest What's, Dick. Uh, funny about Biggest Dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a joke name, sir. I have a very great friend in Rome called Biggest Dick. <laughs> <laughs> find yourself in gladiator school very quickly with rotten behavior like that. Can I go now, sir? <laughs> Wait, your biggest stick is here of this. Wait! <laughs> Take him away! This, this is a good set. I will not have my friends ridiculed by the common soldiery. Anybody else feel like a little... giggle? <laughs> when I mention my friend, biggest. What about you? Do you find it visible? <laughs> when I say <laughs> the name, <laughs> because <laughs> uh, he has a wife, you know. <laughs> They're all having so much fun. You know what she's called? <laughs> Biggest titties. She's called Incontinentia. Dang it. <laughs> close, close. What? What is suddenly happening? What just happened? <laughs> oh my goodness. No. Oh, I was unprepared. I was nothing could have prepared oh. me if you told me. Those creatures do look awesome though. What is happening? I don't know. We've left Earth with Brian. And these creatures. There's a space fight in this Roman Empire movie. Is he going back? 
I don't was this know just a what weird... is going on. I, like I a hope... weird space yeah, five minutes literally... and then he gets dropped back. <laughs> That's exactly what I hoped it happened. Those three uh, minutes were not necessary whatsoever. That's great. <laughs> Ooh, lucky bastard. That's how he got away at this back. <laughs> how much quick? What? It's for the wife. Twenty shekels. Right. There you are. Wait a minute. Well, we're, we're supposed to haggle. No, 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 I've got to get... What do you mean, no, no? <laughs> no, 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 I just paid you. What? Yeah. This bloke won't haggle. Won't haggle? <laughs> I want 20 for that. I'll just give you... Now, are you telling me that's not worth 20 shekels? All right, I'll give you 19 then. This isn't worth 19. You just said it was worth 20. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> All right, I'll give you 10. That's more like it. 10? Are you trying to insult me? Me with a poor dying grandmother? <laughs> Offer me 14. I'll give you 14. He's offering me 14 for this. 15. 17. My last word. I won't take a penny less or strike me dead. 16. Done. <laughs> I'll throw you in this as well. I don't want it, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's four for the gourd. Four? For this gourd? Four? Look at it. It's worth 10 if it's worth a shekel. <laughs> Their glorious deaths shall unite us all in a lookout. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put their end of bag. Yes, I that's love, my favorite yes. one. <laughs> love the guy standing up and putting yeah. a bag over him. <laughs> we have reason to believe you may be hiding in one brown of Nazareth. No, I'm just a poor old man. I have no time for lawbreakers. My eyes are old and bent. What? Silly person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir, couldn't find anything, sir. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> You stupid, bad brain, flat headed. <laughs> There's one place we didn't look. God, I'm just a poor old man. I think they speed they stuff up in the foreground, which is interesting. Yeah. Like there? How, like, yeah, how do they how speed do they them, they but do not that? them? Maybe he was a little bit, because they're just not. They're just standing really still, so right? it's like. So it's like. That's fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do an act, Brian. Come on, Brian. You could do it. Don't pass judgment on other people, or you might get judged yourself. That's a nice good. What? How much do you want for the good? I don't. You can have it. Have it? Yes. Consider the lilies. Don't you want a heckle? No. <laughs> <laughs> Consider the lilies? Uh, well, the birds, then. What birds? Any birds. <laughs> have the birds got jobs? What's the matter with him? Says the birds are scrounging. <laughs> the birds, they do all right, don't they? <laughs> well, good luck to them. Yeah, they're very pretty. <laughs> 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 is this Brian gathering disciples? <laughs> like he's becoming the, the yeah. prophet. The holy gourd. He's gone. He's been taken up. <laughs> oh, he is there. That's a cool POV. Yeah, that's uh -huh. great. Oh, he has given us a show. A show is the sign. Let us follow his example. What? Hold up one show and let the other be upon our foot. For this is his sign. <laughs> Gather shoes together in abundance. Cast huh? off the what? shoes. Follow the gourd. No. <laughs> the holy gourd of Jerusalem. The gourd. Hold up the 
I love this. <laughs> How you interpret prophecy. Yeah. These are all the different religions. Yeah, basically. And I'm sure if you broke it down, there's some commentary on yeah. like different sects. <laughs> One message accidentally given. Interpretation. Is there a path uh. down to the river? Mm. Oh, my foot. Oh, I'm sorry. Shh. Don't you sleep. 18 years of total silence. Huh. <laughs> oh, I'm alive! Havon Aguila! Havon Aguila! <laughs> I'm alive! Havon Aguila! Havon Aguila! His beard uh, was falling off. Uh, uh. I love how he also looked dead into the lens yeah, when we he woke up, right? Yeah, we got a complete right? shot. <laughs> I say those are my juniper bushes. They are a gift from God. They're all I've bloody got to eat. Uh, <laughs> the mushroom healed me. I didn't touch him. I was blind. Now I can see. Now the dust of it. His hair. To the world <laughs> it's a lot. Oh my God. <laughs> Messiah, I say you are Lord, and I should know I followed a few. <laughs> you make my bloody foot, you make my foul silence, and then you try and clean up the night. You lay off. This is the Messiah, the chosen one. No, he's not. An unbeliever. <laughs> Crucify him. <laughs> Oh. Haven't they only met like twice? Yeah. Moment. That's all it takes. <laughs> oh, they got to it quick. You know, love at second sight. He's the Messiah. Yeah. He knows how to love and stuff. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> Good old life of Brian. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's oh. great. That's great. What? Have you been telling them? Nothing. I only, you're only making it worse for yourself. Look, I can explain. Oh, no. Let me explain, Mrs. Collins. Who? Yours. <laughs> Those people out there are following him because they believe in him, Mrs. Collins. They believe he can give them hope. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? It's <laughs> Judith, Mum. Judith. Mother. <laughs> now you listen here. It is not the Messiah. It is a very naughty boy. Who are you? I'm his mother, that's who. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to follow me. You don't need to follow anybody. You've got to think for yourself. You're all different. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Otherwise, I'll out. <laughs> what you said just now was quite extraordinary. We don't need any leaders. You're so right. Red has been dominating us for too long. You're very attractive. <laughs> You're f mix me, old beauty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> so tidy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any crucifixions today? 139, sir. Now we have 140. Nice round number, eh, Because <laughs> <laughs> His shoes were amazing. Take him away. I'm a Roman. I, I can prove it honestly. And crucify him well. Let me come with you, Pontius. I may be of some assistance if there is a sudden crisis. <laughs> <laughs> that there be uh, immediate action uh, once the vote has been taken. Well, obviously, once the vote has been taken, you can't act on a resolution until you've voted. It's happening, Reg! Something's actually happening, Reg! Can't you understand? Oh! <laughs> 
Big horns are back. Bring them back always. We have a Samson the Sadducee Strangler, Silas the Assyrian Assassin. <laughs> Crucifixion? Yes. Go out of the door, line on the left, one cross each. Jayla, excuse me, there's been some sort of mistake. Just a moment, Richard. Jayla, how many have come through? What? Uh, how many have come through? What? Uh. Uh. Be, 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 speak up a bit, sir. He's, 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 How many have come through? <laughs> oh dear. I make it 90, 90, 90, 96, sir. <laughs> Get a move on, big nose. There's people waiting to be crucified out here. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have a lawyer? No, but I'm a Roman. How about a retrial? We've got plenty of time. Oh, boy. Miserable bloody Romans, no sense of humour. I'm sorry, a bit of a hurry. Can you go straight up, line on the left, one cross each. This movie could never be made today. Madness. <laughs> a lot of madness. <laughs> Crucifixion party by the left. For what? <laughs> you lucky. Who is this Star Wars you guy? Lucky. The I am your father. He's young and he looks exactly like that guy. And it's bugging me. I haven't thought of his name. This guy. Uh, yeah. You know the guy? God, what is his freaking name? Adam Driver? Yes. Oh, I definitely see God the Adam Driver vibe. God bless you, Coy. Adam Driver. Yes. I shall release Brian. You mean I might have to give up being crucified in the afternoons? Shall I? I wouldn't have nothing to do. Thank you. <laughs> Are they gone? We, we got lumps of it around the back. <laughs> oh, don't worry about him, sir. He's mur. He's m he's m he's m he's mad, sir. Are they gone? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, sir. My brain sounded like when I was trying to think of Adam Driver's name. You went through this. You lived <sighs> it. You experienced it. That's the motion to get on with it, pass with a one abstention. I now propose that we go without further ado. May I have a second? Wow. Let's go. Uh, oh, I love it. Policy. Up you go, big nose! I warn you, I'm going to punch you so hard, you Roman git. Shut up! <laughs> Under the terms of the Roman occupancy, we're entitled to be crucified in a purely Jewish area. Hands up, all those who don't want to be crucified here. Hands up. <laughs> Next. <laughs> it's not my cross. I was uh, holding it for someone. Just lie down. I haven't got all day. No, of course. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. Oh, it's great. Point out first, Brian, in all fairness, that we are not, in fact, the rescue committee. However, I have been asked to read the following prepared statement on behalf of the movement. Are we the people's front of Judea? Brackets officials in brackets. <laughs> Your death will stand as a landmark in the oh, continuing man. struggle to liberate the parent land from the hands of the Roman imperialist aggressors, excluding those concerned with drainage, medicine, roads, housing, education. <laughs> Signed on behalf of the PFJ, etc. <laughs> what are you going to do? Goodbye, Brian, and thanks. <laughs> right. And for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so say all of us. And so say all of us. <laughs> Where is Brian of Nazareth? I have an order for his release. Yeah, I'm Brian of Nazareth. Take him down. I'm Brian of Nazareth. I'm Brian. Spartacus moment. No, I'm only joking. I'm not really Brian. <laughs> Who are these guys? The Indian people's front! Oh. Uh. <laughs> the Indian people's front! What? We are the Indian people's front! Crack squad! Attack! Terrific, great. Reg has explained it all to 
me, and I think it's great what you're doing. <laughs> ah. I'll never forget you. <laughs> That's how you treat your poor old mother in the autumn years of her life. All I can say is, go ahead, be crucified. See if I care. See if I care. Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle. <laughs> that grumble. Give a whistle. Always look on the bright side of life. <sighs> Always look on the light side of life. If life seems jolly <laughs> rotten, there's something you've forgotten. Always look on the right side of life. <laughs> Never would have thought we'd get here. Nope, me neither. Not where, not where I thought it would land. <laughs> look on the bright side of death. <laughs> <laughs> I just before you draw your terminal breath. Fascinating. <laughs> oh boy. This was so long ago, I did not recognize anyone. Like, no. I know all of those names, but I could not tell you who played who, and that feels odd, but kind of freeing. It was not. I feel like I recognize John Cleese. Sure. Because I feel like he's been around more recently. Other than that, didn't really, didn't know. Didn't know. Except for that one guy that looks like Adam Driver. Except Adam Driver's pre-probably 10-year-old cameo as yep. a grown man. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring, which is what we use for our merch store and is our game-changing partner in e-commerce. So whether you're launching a passion project or scaling to new heights, Shopify is the e-commerce powerhouse guiding you at every step. From creating your first online store to opening physical locations, Shopify makes it seamless. It's perfect whether you're selling exclusive merch or unique collectibles, thanks to their all-encompassing platform for both online and in-store sales. Their checkout system unmatched. It's 36% more effective at converting visitors into buyers than other platforms. And let's not forget Shopify magic, the AI tool that elevates your business with minimal effort. But seriously, reflecting on our journey using Shopify for www.rejectnationshop.com, it's been transformative. The transition, smooth, growth, exponential. Thank you again, Reject Nation. From simplifying sales to scaling our offerings, Shopify has been a cornerstone of our success. And Shopify isn't just for us. It powers 10% of US e-commerce, backing businesses big and small in over 175 countries. Their award-winning support, always there to guide you. So ready to join the revolution? Sign up for Shopify at only a dollar a month at shopify.com slash rejects. All lowercase, shopify.com slash rejects. Start your Shopify success story now. Let's grow together with Shopify, team. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video, a real game changer I've been using for years. That's right, years. So whenever they want to work with us, it's an instant yes. You've likely heard about ExpressVPN for online privacy and security, but there's more to it than that. However, there was a very real incident recently with Spectrum shutting down my internet and contacting me due to a suspecting hacking attempt. And funny enough, I realized I hadn't actually activated my ExpressVPN on my new laptop that I got a couple of months ago, so I was paying the consequences. Having faced a serious hacking issue on YouTube a couple of years ago, that made ExpressVPN my go-to for both security and freedom. I mean it. And yes, what you've heard is true. Believe me, this channel knows. You can use ExpressVPN to watch movies and shows on Netflix that are not available in your country. This means accessing a vast array of content of over 100 countries, like a global cinema at your fingertips. It's super easy. Open ExpressVPN, switch locations, refresh the browser, and there you have it. Whether it's K-dramas on South Korean Netflix, Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, or more, ExpressVPN has you covered. And it's incredibly fast, ensuring no buffering or lag for smooth HD streaming. It's versatile too, working on not just computers, but phones, media consoles, smart TV, 
movies, and more. This means you can enjoy your favorite shows on anywhere, any screen, protect and elevate your internet experience. So if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link, expressvpn.com slash rejects. And you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash rejects. So head to expressvpn.com slash rejects to learn more. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, now, if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please do like and or review. Let us know how you're enjoying it. We're going to dive into a review of Monty Python's The Life of Brian, which we just watched for the very first time. And what an experience it was. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know thematically, tonally, objectively, spiritually what to get (laughs) into. Uh, But it was good. It was weird. Uh, It was definitely... Not of my era, and that was also fun. Like, I definitely think that it, this informed a lot of things from comedy that I grew up with, but it predates it by a generation or two. Yeah. Um, you can see the DNA of a lot of comedy in here for totally. like, where we developed. How would you think? I mean, I love that they're in all of the cat. They're in every single sketch. Like, I don't know why I didn't know that, but Monty Python, like the whole cast plays all the characters, which I love. Yeah. Um, I thought it, um, it was great. Uh, I like the, I think what I like the most is like the pacing of the tone in, in like the era and the exact comedy that they're doing. They do the pacing and the tone of it really well in this, like there's a specific style that they follow. And, uh, I like that. Also the fact that like every sketch is kind of like a metaphor telling you something about, uh, like, uh, Christianity or religion or like the Jesus stuff. Uh, also like, I don't know. It just called to a lot of things, but also adding in uh, humor to it, which I really, really liked. Yeah. I think the narrative worked really well to deliver messages in an absurdist way. Like there's yeah. so many metaphors and there's so many moments of like, you know, he's not, he doesn't want to be a leader and he's just trying to say to live your own life and everybody taking that on. And and we, we even commented a couple times about like how scripture can be manipulated and, and how people themselves interpret it differently and therefore run awry. So it was fun to have, like you're saying every, every three to five minutes was a different individual section that then combined into an act into a three act structure it's really well written to have so many different pieces add up to a whole, but each piece could be its own, you sketch know, key and peel a, sketch. Yes, exactly. I agree with that. Like if, it'd be like if Chappelle's show was a feature, like grabbing, yeah. a, you know, a bunch of little vignettes of comedy, but having this overarching story, it's really impressive writing. And, and I liked that I didn't have, I honestly can't tell you who 90% of the cast was. And I know those actors and, and it's so long ago, I really enjoyed the escape to just go like, I don't have any association with these folk. I can just enjoy the absurdity. And I think one of my favorite moments was the, the peak absurdism of the, the alien. Cause it like, that was, yeah, that was just a punchline. Like it was just so he could escape to come back and just why. And I love that. I feel like because he was in a, like a yellow submarine looking like spaceship. Yeah, definitely and, had some Beatles vibe. Right. And but also, isn't there a thing, correct me if I'm wrong, and I probably am, but in like Latter day Saint stuff or Mormonism, like he goes in, no joke, a yellow submarine or a spaceship. And he, that's how Joseph get. it's like Salt Lake City. And that's why when you die, you get, uh, you get a planet with your wives. I swear to God, you guys, I am not, obviously I'm not making this up because it's so absurd, but I was like, Oh, are they calling out that one weird part where they're like, he took a yellow boat submarine over here. And it's in their book of whatever they call it. My favorite thing about religion is it all sounds just as crazy as the last thing. I know. Uh, I no disrespect to any religious folk, but I, I know less about religion than I know about my five eight grandparents ago i just don't i don't know i don't know this world and i'm sure there's a lot of really funny humor if you have layers to it if you have yeah like if we knew more about any of it we would be like oh (laughs) behind the scenes uh real rejects when we got here greg pulled us aside and went do you know about jesus and it was the funniest sunday school (laughs) moment where i was like not like i've seen mel gibson's movie and i just went the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I think there's like a Trinity thing, which wasn't in here. No, not at all. I also, like, there was no, I, he wasn't the Son of God, 
We didn't no. really go to Jesus. We didn't go to him like at Brian all. Brian just got born next door. Brian yeah. was just in the same. He was just a, in the same hospital. arena. Yeah, the same like delivery room. We yeah. had we had Brian, which was fun because I'm sure there are parallels. I'm sure this is the story of Jesus taken obviously to to absurd levels, but uh, I imagine it's a retelling in points. But right. not knowing, I don't know. Like meaning them asking his mom if she was a virgin. Right, and like stuff, that which is and how that what became Mary yeah. got. Right? Uh, which I enjoyed like, how that became the narrative of like, oh, she reacted like she must be. Yeah. Like that was funny. But that, otherwise, yeah. like there's probably a lot of stuff. The reason we didn't comment on it is we don't know. We don't really, we don't really know. I was trying to really think. I was like, oh man, is he going to go into a rock tomb and we oh, come, and come out, out maybe three that's days the sequel. later? Is there a sequel to Life I of Brian? I don't know, what about man. Easter? Also, is that what Mel's doing a passion to? Is it going to be the Easter story? Like he comes <laughs> back? Because that's what I assume he has to do. He and has then to we do get a trilogy. It. Yeah. Which it's, is his comeback in modern day as whole, Mel Gibson. We need to get into a church um, before that. Yeah. It's got to yeah. happen. But I, I expected a little bit more of the limited amount I know. Uh, but also, I don't know what like the Easter bunny, like eggs have to do with Jesus or any of that right. stuff. Like all of that's just as absurd as any of this to me. So oh, I don't yeah. know. You know what I mean? Like you just described a spaceship any. and I was like, seems like it could be a thing. Maybe. I swear to God, you guys. That's, that's and it intense. Was like Joseph who wrote it. I remember it. They're like. His dad? He does this. No, it's not his. It's like a There's separate, another Joseph? It's like a Joseph prophet and he's in the yellow submarine and. Is that Here where the Beatles go. got the yellow submarine? Maybe. Was from like a biblical thing? I swear. We're going to, I'm going to have to look Just it up. I mean, Googling I'm tired right now, but, but once I get home, in the next month, yeah, I'll figure this out, you guys. So, or you guys will. Yeah, you can, I'm sure, let us know yeah, in the comments below. Uh, yeah, there was no like Adam and Eve ribs. I thought maybe there'd be like some oh, baby back right. ribs jokes. <laughs> uh, the, 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 my point is, all of the jokes I expected to occur from my limited exposure did not um, so yeah. I expected like, you know, some baby back ribs jokes, some, uh, <laughs> some Easter eggs jokes some stuff that like from my limited knowledge. So this was really interesting and fun for me because I didn't get most of it, but I could still appreciate the humor. Um, I would liken it to how I imagine people that have never read a comic would enjoy a comic movie where it's like, I can enjoy the surface level of the entertainment, but I'm sure there's so much going on for people like me in the comic sense to be like, Oh my God, that's a blah, blah, blah. Like this is probably full of, uh, Jesus Easter eggs, Jesus, if you will, uh, where it's like there like are that. elements that we just don't actually Easter eggs would probably be a Jesus thing too. Cause the Easter eggs. Totally. The only thing we got was biggest dickus. Biggest dickus is probably my favorite of the holy men. <laughs> I know for me, it was okay. My favorite part of the movie though, real quick was his, his oh, slap. The slap was so I, good. The slap is my most favorite thing. I'm like, if anyone was like, you need to rewatch that. I'd be like, I feel like I'm good, but, but I would. Uh, yeah. I, I enjoyed a lot of sections. Yeah. I found myself really being invested and then kind of wavering and, and then kind of going back and forth. I agree, which is, I think, how they keep probably most people invested because there are some short stints, you know, they're going to cut out of this eventually. So mm -hmm. if they're losing you, it keeps moving and it's going to move into a different, a It'll totally different later. sketch. Yeah. Which is great because you're like, oh, thank God. We'll be, we'll this be through this in a sec. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. And that's probably smart to have something in this narrative um, with styles of humor. Like, I, I particularly enjoyed the, I mean, the biggest dick is I'm, I'm a child. So I really yeah. enjoyed a bunch of Romans trying not to giggle. <laughs> that worked for me. Uh, yeah. Silly lisps and things. Uh, at one point, you said this could never get made. It, it definitely, um, from just the theme, the, just the concept, no one would let people play in this arena today. No. Uh, we're, no. we're a bit. And also, I think there's a, a freedom to the British um, yes, I think, you know, Borat, um, you know, that is, that a, is a, you know what I mean? Like, yes, that's the modern take to me. I, mm -hmm. I see Sasha Baron Cohen as the modern Monty Python. I agree. And in the middle was Mel Brooks to me. Uh, Mel Brooks is one of my favorite, like, comedian director writers. Uh, Men in Tights, I love so much. It actually ruined The Godfather because huh. I watched Men in Tights like through my whole childhood. And then I watched Godfather in my like early 30s. Yeah. So when I watched The Godfather, I was like, I've seen all this, but oh like as a joke, God. like all of the, the cheek stuffing stuff, like all of those scenes were ruined because they were funny to me in The Godfather. So that's Mel Brooks. Like he, and I, wow. no, I have no regrets. Thank you, Mel Brooks. But that's... Mel Brooks is so funny that I couldn't like straight face watch the most famous <laughs> of mob movies. Oh my God, I can't. So that's what I felt like this was definitely setting up. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Um, I, I'm trying to think of like, what were the, my other like favorite 
moments. Also, why is Judith so fit? She had like there's one cut she to her, shredded. and she has like eighteen abs. Yeah. I was like, girl, get it. Judith uh, was doing the work. Yeah, and I like that the mom was like, leave her alone for a minute, and he's like, but I don't want yes, to. Yes, that was a great <laughs> line. I enjoyed that, and it was so thrown away. It wasn't even like very loud, but I really, really like that. Um, I like the throwaway lines, like with Mary walking away, of like, oh, children, they don't. And when she's leaving him at the crucifixion, like, what's gotten into the kids these days? <laughs> I like the the throwaway lines that they do with certain characters in this those make me laugh like at the end of a scene of someone just saying stuff um also the mob when they're following him um and repeat just like repeating things but when they are like oh yeah we're gonna just blah 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 i don't know i really like that type of uh uh delivery i guess you could say i like seeing 200 extras like we, don't, we don't get movies <laughs> so like this anymore. many and why were they always they were always like smiling and panting they were oh, like it was so hot so happy <laughs> So, so Labrador Retriever energy yeah, for all yeah. those followers. I th- actually, I think that one of those sequences is probably up there for me as well as the uh, the biggest dickus was just the the throwaway nature of the joke about how people can interpret religion because that that carried on for a while. Like yeah. the the tree, you know, the all those things where it's just there, but it becomes a miracle, and how. I think people need uh, a, a certain types of people need to believe. So how, especially when you're being persecuted, you'd need someone or something to give you hope and belief and faith yeah. and all that jazz. So obviously it wasn't handled seriously here, but the idea that these people feel persecuted, these people are being taken advantage of, or, you know, not feeling like they're represented going like this man can lead us. Like, please someone lead us. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, handled through humor and, and like as an outlet, but there's a lot of a truth in people wanting that, that freedom to follow yeah there is i mean i think people are constantly looking for a leader but it also distracts them from like their own brain and what they're struggling with because i mean when he's at the window he's like you're all different you're all individuals you got to go and figure it out for yourself you can do it don't listen to anybody except for most of the world is like i would like to listen to somebody is there someone i can follow who can we follow around here and maybe it's like a society where they're like stand in line in kindergarten and follow him and follow that I mean, not really, but you guys get what I'm saying. No, like, I mean, that's even the scene in, with the crucible. Like, oh, the crucifix yeah. is like, yeah, exactly. like they just like line, They just do it. Yeah. Which is, that's right. Especially when they're all in the good. That was my yeah, other oh, favorite that was so part. Good. That I love that. Good. Good. <laughs> Did I take a left? That was my, that was one of my favorites. Another favorite of me uh, would be the scene where they're breaking down all the Romans have done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where it's describing the Roman Empire and yes. like the Roman Empire changed human beings Mm -hmm. we do have you know law and and agriculture and sanitation like all that came from this era and obviously that's over hundreds and hundreds of years but to to make it so succinct that joke was so funny to me of like what because every time they're always like the oppressor what have they ever done for us yeah and it's still true that you're trying to escape you know the colonization oppressors but the list of all of the accomplishments that happened under this regime it's very interesting to look at the nuance of When you've got a dictatorship or an actual colonization or someone making law where it's safe to walk in the streets, but at what cost? That's that's a funny nuance to look into of of we're living in 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 our society in 2023. We're living in this very Orwellian society of, you know, we feel safe because we have ring lights on our doors and like (laughs) the, the cameras. I don't because I don't want to be watched all the time. But some people feel safe by putting themselves in the position to be watched all the time. And right. that's literally what we wrote about in the 80s as surveillance state. So we, we have Surrey on our phone and we have all these things where it's like we literally are being listened to and watched and all the things that the 80s warned us about. But it's safer. So we do it. And in here we've got, you know, this list of things the Romans have made society better about, but they're still oppressing. They're still not letting them be themselves. So it's an interesting commentary on, on what you're willing to accept as a, a hierarchy. Yeah, I agree. And it's also like educational too. Yeah. Like if someone just didn't know about the Roman Empire. <laughs> what a way to like, learn. Wow, I just watched this sketch real quick, kid. All right, let's uh, go ahead and play that. Uh, That's actually good to play in schools. Right? Like, like if you're doing a, a class you, in the Roman Empire and then have this be the fu- like final, have, like after you're done. Like this is the, the comedic fun, take. Yeah, here's the funny thing. And now we all remember like what they did, but also what they also didn't do well. Yeah, like a nice summation of the accomplishments and the Horrors. yes yes because yes. yeah i i enjoyed that balance i thought that was funny that was one of my favorite scenes was that just that run through and thinking about the nuance of, of humor in that way like that was, yeah 
And I was like, is it called the School of Rock? Because I was I like, this, is. I think you were I right when you School said of School of Rock because that animation with the was titling was in, in my brain. It was like that. And then that sketch also reminded me that along with when he was doing the Romans Go Home. Yeah. I was like, this is School of Rock, oh, but yeah. just I'm out bill. loud. Like, yes. Yeah. And the, yeah, that scene was great too. The Latin and the Bart yes. Simpson repeating and all those and elements. And I was were... like, dang, I don't remember a lot of English. Yeah. And I don't and remember how like, to conjugate Latin. God, no. That was impressive. I mean, mm-hmm. Americans barely learn the one language we have to. Everyone else yeah. learns like four. All right. It's we are we are unfortunate. We're not an educated people. <laughs> We're, We're not. sorry. Romans didn't get this far. We, sorry. Uh, we, we do what we can. Uh, as per a lot of people that are probably upset that we I mean, this is a movie jabbing at religion. So I'm hoping I didn't fit anyone with my my uh, uh, aggressive atheism. But uh, <laughs> this was enjoyable. Yep. Uh, Monty Python is definitely something I have very little exposure to. I more abstractly know Terry Gilliam through like. You know, Fisher King, Dr. Parnassus, Brothers Grimm, uh, you know, he's got a legacy. And then John Cleese from being John Cleese. Uh, I would be curious about, you know, what's the other classic one? There's um, Meaning of Life. There's Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. I think think those are the big three. Yes. Yes. And we we haven't seen it. We haven't seen them. So if you want us to watch any of those, this is probably the way I'd watch them. Because in life, it's hard to make time for every movie, in but life, historically. I would not, I would not, I, I don't know that I would sign up to be like Monty Python and let's do it with everything that is out there. That's, that, yeah, I'm going to own and, that. And you guys know me that I'm always complaining about in certain movies. If it doesn't have heart in it and makes me like feel a thing that I'm like, I don't know, it's pretty good, but I wanted it to have more of a, a heart to it. Obviously, this is not really going to go there. This is sketch and very hard comedy which is why it's not a thing that I tend to uh, cling to. Same. That's probably why we're the two that haven't seen the like, uh, Yeah. Because we don't, we're not drawn to satire to the scale. Uh, no, no. Uh, but if you want us to watch the other ones, uh, this is probably the way we will ever watch them. No yeah. disrespect to Monty or Python. Right. Uh, it's just uh, not, not generally coming on the TV. Uh, I'm more of a darker humor kind of like, you know, kiss, kiss, bang, bang, lethal weapon in Bruges kind of fella. Boom, um, boom. Those are, those are my jam. So I would love to watch these. If you guys would love to have us watch these, we haven't seen them. So please do sign up below letting us know which ones you want us to watch and this i will say as we sign off uh, i did appreciate that it had that liveliness of live comedy it felt like at points like a play like people laughing people breaking people people, breaking like that snl element yeah and that that made it more enjoyable because to see them doing that made it like a more fun time for me kept it alive yeah so I would love to see the others if if only for the spontaneity of like people breaking that that joy, that jubilance of live theater that is uh, that did translate really well here. Yeah. All right. That is going to do it. You lovelies. Thank you so much for joining us on this. Like comments and ring the bell. Ring the bell. Can't top it. Much love. Reject Nation. We'll see you soon. Bye. 